February the 14th is Ash Wednesday and Ash Wednesday is the first day of Lent and Lent is the 40 days, not including Sundays, that leads up to Easter Sunday. So what is there to say about Ash Wednesday? Well, we're going to explore what Ash Wednesday means by going through the kind of church service that you might have in some churches on this day. Now, if this was a real service and you were in church, at some point you would come to the front and the vicar would put a mark of the cross on your forehead in ash. And I'll explain why that is a little bit later. But Ash Wednesday is something to do with stopping and thinking for a while about the really big issues of life. Like, for instance, we have a limited amount of time, we have lots of choices to make in that time, and all choices have consequences. And sometimes we need to change the things that we do. It's also about forgiveness, death and eternity, so really big issues. Ash Wednesday is a day when we think about these things and what they mean from a Christian point of view. As I said, it's also the first day of Lent, a time when you traditionally give something up, but we'll be looking at how you can give one thing up in order to do something else. But you don't have to be a Christian to think about the big issues of life like these. You may be of a different faith or none, in which case you might or might not come up with different answers to the big questions of life. At an Ash Wednesday service, you would start with a couple of short prayers that introduces a number of things about what God is like, that he is good, merciful, and wants us to know peace, and that we need to be rescued from wrong choices and attitudes and their consequences in a world that can sometimes feel to us fairly chaotic. Some students will say some of the words, others have joined in with the responses, and you can as well if you want to. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Holy God, our lives are laid open before you. Rescue us from the chaos of sin and through the death of your Son, bring us healing and make us whole. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. No, this is the kind of fasting I want. Free those who are wrongly imprisoned. Lighten the burden of those who work for you. Let the oppressed go free and remove the chains that bind people. Share your food with the hungry and give shelter to the homeless. Give clothes to those who need them and do not hide from relatives who need your help. That was one of the Bible readings that you might hear in a church during an Ash Wednesday service. Now, as I said before, Ash Wednesday is the first day of Lent, and Lent is traditionally seen as a time when we might give things up. And that can certainly be a good thing, but an even better thing is when you give something up that you might normally do, or give time up that you normally have, or money that you normally spend on something, and give that time or money to someone or something else. So, for instance, you might give up chocolate and give the money that you would have spent on that to a charity. Fasting means abstaining from something. Now that could mean many things. For instance, you could fast from using your phone. And the time that you would have spent on that could be used to do something useful around the house. This is the kind of attitude the Bible is talking about here. You stop doing one thing that doesn't really benefit anyone but yourself in order to do something that benefits others. There are people who need our help in this world. Although the details of what help is needed may be different from this Bible verse, the idea that there are many needs around us that need our attention is always true. So what do you see in our world that you can give up some of your time and effort to make a difference in? Ash Wednesday is a time to remember that we have a limited number of hours in the day and years on this earth. So how are we going to spend that time wisely? Thank you. 
Also in a service like this, there would be a confession time. Now a confession is a time to express the fact that we have not always done what we could have done and to remind ourselves that there is so much more that we can do. God the Father, have mercy on us. God the Son, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Trinity of Love, have mercy on us. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart and mind and strength. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We have not forgiven others as we have been forgiven. Lord, have mercy. Accept our repentance, Lord, for the wrongs we have done, for our blindness to human need and suffering, and our indifference to injustice and cruelty. Accept our repentance, Lord. For all false judgments, for uncharitable thoughts towards our neighbours, and for our prejudice and contempt towards those who differ from us. Accept our repentance, Lord. For our waste and pollution of your creation, and our lack of concern for those who come after us. Accept our repentance, Lord. Hear, hear us, for your, your mercy, mercy is great. Accomplish in us the work of your salvation, that we may show your glory in the world. By the cross and passion of your Son, our Lord, bring us with all your saints to the joy of his resurrection. We have, we have not, not loved, loved you with our whole heart. We have, have not loved, loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are, and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. After the confession, if we were in a church, we would now have the mark of the cross put on our foreheads. And remember that the cross made with ashes symbolises that we have a set amount of time here on this earth. We are full of potential, but also fragile, and with a tendency sometimes to mess things up. Into this mix, we need what is represented by Jesus on the cross on Good Friday and his resurrection on Easter Day. Love, forgiveness, mercy, kindness, and hope stretching into eternity. that at Easter. If we are from another faith or have no faith at all, it may make us consider how given our own personal beliefs we should live the best version of who we are for the time that we have. enrich us with his grace and nourish us with his blessing. The Lord defend us in trouble and keep us from all evil. The Lord accept our prayers and absolve us from our offences. For the sake of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Christ give you grace to grow in holiness, to deny yourselves, take up your cross and follow him and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. <laughs>